In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can configure radius on HP switches. So I have a, I created a procedure here that uh, uh, we can follow. But uh, basically, I actually have this uh, uh, document from uh, TechHub techhub.hp.com so from uh, HP uh, website so uh, this is just uh, this is a an example of configuring as you can see here configuring authentication and authorization for SSH users by a radius server so this is network configuration this here, this is procedure. This is uh, the procedure that has to be done on the uh, radius server all the way here, here. So, and and um, we have a network diagram, but uh, I'm not. Uh, I actually have a my own diagram here, uh, so I'm just gonna explain that a little later. Uh, but like I said, this is the procedure on that has to be done on the uh, radius server side. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can configure the switch in this case. So, so here I have a core switch. Um, uh, bundled into a logical switch uh, using IRF and I have switch one, access switch one, and access switch two. And uh, this is these are actually routers uh, trying to um, trying to make them uh, run as hosts. But uh, we're just going to focus on uh, this part of the topology. So uh, configure the switches. I mean configure the switch. So let me go to the procedure. So uh, number one, this is just uh, this is just to create a local user. So uh, of course, before you actually configure the radius, uh, I mean configure radius on the switch, uh, you have to make sure that uh, you can log in to the switch uh, using the local account. So just in case you know the the radius server uh, will not work or the radius authentication will not work. So let me go ahead and actually the uh, I I have a terminal uh, to the terminal open to the core switch, and I also have this uh, this is the access switch one. But uh, let me go ahead and do this uh, commands do these commands on the core switch. So basically I'm just creating a local user uh, named admin. So password simple HP. I'm just gonna, so service type SSH telnet. I'm gonna remove telnet cause uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna enable uh, here I'm just going to enable uh, the SSH protocol. I'm not going to enable the uh, telnet, and just copy and paste these this commands and quit. So step two: create a local RSA and uh, uh, DSA key pairs. So so it says local key pair already exists. I'm just gonna say yes. And default input the modulus length default. I'm just gonna enter and public key local create TSA already exists. Just enter. And step three, this is the command to enable SSH. Uh, so 
SSH server enable. So basically this is, you know, the switch. This is the uh, SSH server. And the device that is going to SSH into this uh, core switch will be the client. So step four, this is, uh, this is the command here. This is where you can, I mean, this is the part that you enable uh, scheme authentication for users line, user lines VTY0 through uh, VTY623. So uh, looks like uh, HP switches have a lot of VTY lines. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these commands. And protocol inbound. So th that's the command. That's the command that uh, you. That's the command to enable SSH. And quit. So let me go back here to the document. So this is already already done. This is what uh, we just did. So. Create a radius scheme. So uh, this is step five. This is um, in my procedure. Uh, this is where you enable radius scheme. So I'm gonna go back to the switch. And so primary authentication. This is the the uh, our primary authentication server, and they also have um, primary uh, accounting server and secondary and secondary accounting server servers. So um, I have this key for the. Uh, this is actually the key that should be configured on both the switch and the ready server. So the guy that the guy that that is going to configure the ready server or that is going to add this switch to the radius server, uh, they should use the same uh, shared key. So in this, in this example, they should use HP. So I'm gonna go ahead and, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this uh, commands, these commands. So username format without domain, this is, I actually read this before. It says here, include domain names in the username sent to the radius server. So uh, in our case, we're not uh, including username uh, to uh, be sent to the radius server or the, include domain names in the usernames to be sent to the radius server. So let me go back here. So creating radius scheme is done. So I'm gonna quit. And here, this part is done. So in this case, uh, it says that you should use username format. Uh, so you, you it says that you should include user uh, domain names in in your usernames, but we're not, we are not doing that in our example. So create an ISP domain named BBB. And by the way, I, I actually used uh, capital RAD in the example, just small letters, RAD. But in, in my example, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this just to show you that this is something that you can define yourself. So. Uh, let me just uh, copy and paste that command. So this is where you apply the ready scheme that you created here. So uh, this this should be actually RAD. RAD. So let me just copy and paste this command. Should be RAD also. 
capital letters. Okay, we're done. So let me just verify the configurations. Save first. So it, it should say save force, right? Step seven. Always save your configurations. So let me go back to step one. So let me, I mean, verify the configuration uh, at step one. So begin local user. Okay, that's looking good. Um, enable server. Include SSH. It's configured. Let me go back. Let me go to the line. Display this. Line is looking good. VTY zero through six to three. So authentication mode is scheme. Protocol inbound SSH. So looking good. So let me. Do quit, display, current, begin, radius. That is looking good. Radius scheme uh, looking good. And domain, domain, ISP domain is looking good. So in this case, we are using uh, really scheme. Mm, okay. Kind of weird. We're not. Uh, I actually used uh, capital letters, uh, rad, but I think it's it's not allowed to use capital letters. That's kind of. Let me do it again. Yeah, I think it's better to just use small letters. So I'm just going to do CCC and say the how about radius and radius so I'm just gonna repeat the uh, I mean re-enter the commands I'm just gonna delete it first so R A D Domain quit undo. Oops, undo domain BBB. I'm going to use domain CCC. And let me do radius again. Oops, should be begin. Okay, that's looking good. Save, save the config. So verifying the configuration. So uh, you could, we can actually SSH from the from the access switch here uh, going into the core switch. So let me show you the the IP configuration or the interface configuration. So the management IP address is dot nine dot twenty nine on the of the core switch. And 
display IP management uh, IP address of switch one is dot 30. So I'm going to go ahead and just SSH into the core switch. And by the way, uh, we are not we are not actually using a so in the topology we don't have a a radio server so it's gonna fail over to uh, the local uh, configuration that we have configured so here so here uh, authentication authorization and accounting so uh, uh, basically we are just uh, in our example, we're not using, like I said, radius. And uh, this is not correct. Radius, radius. Radius, hold on. Yeah, wrong, wrong spelling. <laughs> Should be like that. So let me re enter these commands. Quit save force. Begin uh, domain. Domain. Oops, let me just do. Radius. Okay, that's looking better. So, as I was saying, um, radius server is not. We don't have a radius server in our topology, so it's gonna f uh, fail over to uh, uh, the local account that we, what we are that we configured. So, let me just uh, go ahead and try to SSH into the core switch. So 29. Well, you have to be in the this mode. Uh, SSH. So username uh, admin. So server is not authenticated. Continue. Yes. Yes. Uh, password is HP. So as you can see, I was able to uh, SSH into the core switch uh, using the the local account. But that's how you can configure your uh, radius on the on the core switch. So, yep, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.